There's a lot of things I love in this world. A good haiku, long walks on the beach, spending quality time with my partner, those Twizzlers with the cherry and the lemon stuff inside of them, jasmine rice, curry, Tim Curry. But there's one thing I love most of all, and that's coming home to a vinegar syndrome box. So today, let's see what I got in my halfway to Black Friday sale pickup video. Okay guys, so you know this tape, you can't go wrong when you see this on your front porch after a long day of listening to your boss's bullshit. If you're watching right now, I'm sorry, this is a joke, it's just for YouTube, I don't actually mean that. Um, please don't fire me, I need this job so I can buy more Blu-rays. I thought we would crack into this bad boy, let's not waste any time, we got a lot to get to today. Uh, and my bank account is hearting for certain. All right, so I'm gonna crack this open. Let me just do it like this, just kidding. Never point a knife at yourself. So I've actually, I've been waiting to open this package. I actually got this like a couple days ago, but I had a lot going on. My girlfriend and I went to see the Lord of the Rings trilogy in theaters, the extended versions. So it took me a while to get to this because I had my whole paradigm of my life thus far shattered in front of my very eyes by watching that masterpiece again in theaters for the first time as a grown adult. And so it took me a little bit of time to recoup from that and actually like come back to reality. So better late than never. I've been wanting to open this for a while. So I picked up a lot of things on the sale um, more than I was anticipating picking up and one of these I actually ordered during their subscriber week sale uh, because they waited to ship that <clears throat> excuse me until the end of their Black Friday sale halfway to Black Friday so you can see this thing is stuffed man stuffed to the brim all right so let's see what we got in this box so we're gonna start I guess we'll go from left to right and we'll just pull things out one at a time so first up we have we have riddle of fire This is one I had wanted uh, for a while. This looks like a lot of fun. It kind of reminds me of like an old Disney movie. You know, like, I don't want to say Goonies, but you know, stuff of that ilk. And um, it looks like a lot of fun. I didn't know what to think of this when I first got it, uh, or when I first saw it rather. But you know, after seeing a couple of reviews and learning a little bit more about it, I think this is something I'm gonna really like. And I think, you know, personally, as someone who watches a lot of like low budget horror and stuff like that, every so often it's nice to kind of just, you know, watch something fun and, uh, you know, relive a little bit of your childhood vicariously through the misadventures of whoever these actors are. I don't know who any of these guys are. So here's the front of the case, Riddle of Fire. Here's the back. Uh, we have a little booklet in here. There's Escape from Fairy Castle Mountain. Sounds kind of cool. Uh, the reversible slip is basically the same as this, as our most Vinegar Syndrome releases. So this is VSP006. I believe VSP is a newish, not a sub label, but sub Vinegar Syndrome uh, kind of distribution platform where they distribute shot on film movies. Um, most notably probably is uh, New York Ninja. That was their first release. And I think that it's Sensor as well. They have full distribution rights over those. So um, this, and it's really cool to see a newish movie uh, that's shot on film. I mean, you see them from time to time, but it's always really nice. And of course, Vinegar Syndrome does, does great work. So this is a 2023 film. So definitely gonna check this guy out real soon. I have a feeling it's gonna have a lot of summer vibes, which is perfect. So next up, we have two more that I've been wanting for a while. We have The Suckling. Crazy film. Uh, not for the faint of heart, <laughs> if you know anything about this movie, not necessarily for everybody, <laughs> but uh, it's wacky and grotesque. And then here's that uh, other artwork. Not really a fan of that. I think I'm going to stick to the original or not the, you know, 
the one that uh, Vinegar Syndrome shipped it with. Uh, now next we have something I wanted to own for a long time, but it was always one of those movies that I felt like, yeah, I should own it on Blu-ray, but it's one of those movies that's more of like something that's fun to watch with a group of people. And that is Night Beast. Night Beast is a spiritual successor to director Don Doler's first movie, or maybe not his first movie, but one previous to this, which was The Alien Factor. Now, I really like The Alien Factor. I almost prefer it to Night Beast, although they're pretty much the same movie. They, he reused a lot of the same actors, and the concept is pretty much the same. So, you know, although it's a spiritual successor and he tried to make a better version of the alien factor, uh, it's also, it's very much, it very much suffers from the same, uh, problems that the first movie had, but I still think it's a lot of fun. Definitely something you want to watch with, uh, at least another person. That is Night Beast. Okay. So we also have Expect No Mercy, with Billy Blanks. Famous Tai Bo instructor, Billy Bil Billy Blanks. Um, I've seen clips of this on YouTube and Instagram, I think. And this looks like something like out of, it looks like a Lawnmower Man ripoff, quite honestly, mixed with Tron. I think TC2000 is definitely sold out, and a couple other Billy Blanks titles have sold out. I really like the Billy Blanks movies. These are a lot of fun. They're a lot of, they're kind of a action sci fi kind of. <laughs> and here is the Blu ray. And you can kind of see I already damaged it, which sucks. These old Vinegar Syndrome top slips uh, or cases are really hard to get movies in. And so I just completely, I am just having a really hard time getting this in there. And this one's cool because it comes with a poster, which I'm always happy to, happy to get a poster. So I like that a lot. I actually really like this cover art. Like I said, very Tron-esque, very Lawnmower Man-esque. Then here we have something that is pretty cool. We have the Red Mob slipcover. Now this is just a slipcover. I know it's boring, something to write home about, but I do think that it's nice that Vinegar Syndrome puts these out from time to time. I know in their in their rewards program, they have some slips, but you have to use your points for those. So it is cool that they still, you know, re reissue some of these slipcovers. So this is one I didn't have the slipcover for, and I'm happy to now own it. Moving on, we have Ticks. We've got Ticks. You got uh, Clint Howard on the back there. I'm infested. Man, <laughs> I, this is such a fun flick. So many great moments in it. You've got Alfonso Riviero from Fresh Prince. You have Seth Green. Uh, let me think, who else is in this? Oh, co of course, Clint Howard. And uh, it's just kind of a, it's kind of a, uh, a love letter to those 50s uh, monster movies. You know, the giant monster movies like Them, uh, not most notably probably Them. Great, fun movie. This is something I had slept on for a while. I had seen the movie uh, and I really enjoyed it, but I just never really wanted to spend the money on the 4K and that's kind of, you know, my thing is like, if I can get the fancy editions of a lot of these movies, I prefer to do that, but it's a double-edged sword because then that makes me not necessarily want to get the plain, you know, standalone version, unless that's my only option. So I waited on this for a long time and I saw that the numbers were going down during the sale. So I was like, and it was obviously on sale. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to grab it. Here's the slip, by the way. I, I failed to show that. I'm very excited to own Ticks. It's it's a really fun time. Highly recommend checking out Ticks if you're into monster movies, because it's a really fun hom homage to that kind of film. Now for this next one, I want to give a big shout out to Planet CHH and uh, Tabato Vision for turning me on to this. They recently did a video where they discussed. Uh, zombie films and i think this came up on there if not it christian planet chh did do a standalone video on this this movie is flesh eater now if you can see this gentleman right here on the lower left corner of the 
screen. You may recognize him as the first zombie you see in Return of the Living Dead. And that's basically what this movie is. It's a spiritual successor or a spiritual sequel to Return of the Living Dead, starring Bill Heinzman as that zombie. It's directed by him. He stars in it as well. It's really cool to see this release on 4K. I was not aware of this movie. Well, I was aware of this movie, but I didn't really, never really gave this much thought until Christian's video. So go watch that video. It's a great, great video. And that video with him and Tabato Vision. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to Flesh Eater. I've kind of been on a zombie kick lately. Here's the uh, reversible art which I think is really cool. I like that artwork. From everything I can gather, it's not necessarily a great movie from the historical significance. Uh, I think this is a, is a keeper. So I know you're like, Dream, what? they put out so many mo more movies. What? Why didn't you get any new movies? And I did. I did get a couple new movies. And uh, the first one I'm about to show might not be what you expect. <laughs> uh, and that is The Instructor. Uh, man, this movie is just stupid. It's a stupid movie. It really is. I'm sorry. Uh, it's dumb, guys. But it's dumb fun, right? And that's why we like so many of these kind of movies. Because they might be stupid as a freaking rock. But they're a lot of fun. A lot of times, the dumber these movies are, the more fun they are. Here is... The booklet that comes with it. I like how it, it looks kind of like an old Nintendo card, uh, you know, Nintendo box, NES box. And we have a poster that comes with it as well. Now this movie notably was shown on Red Letter Media's Best of the Worst, one of those, one of their episodes of that. Can't think of the actual episode, but if you search the instructor uh, on YouTube, that'll probably come up. You guys are missing the chainsaw fight. Wait, he's got a chainsaw. Oh, he's got a chainsaw. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> These guys are fucking nuts. So here's the poster. Side one. The poster side two. And I was really interested in this because a lot of times when Vinegar Syndrome puts out titles, they restore these old movies. And I'll be honest, guys, a lot of times when they do that, I've never heard of these movies, right? Like, that's great that they restored this such and such a movie but uh it doesn't really hit home to me too much but knowing this movie and how crazy it is and seeing there only being a vhs rip of this for years to see this fully restored on blu-ray is is really cool to me and it's one of the main reasons i got it beyond the fact that it's just dumb fun it's nice when you see a movie that you know on vhs or some old format get restored to uh to a much more lively quality so finally to round everything out this is going to be kind of a, a twofer if you will and that is homegrown horrors volumes two and three homegrown horrors volume two so i pre-ordered homegrown horrors volume three back on their subscriber week sale as i mentioned back in uh march i think it might have been uh, i can't remember i always forget when that sale is but I pre-ordered it because I wanted to see most of those movies, which I had already seen some of the movies on the first volume, so I never picked it up. After owning that, I was like, you know what? I kind of want to own all three box sets now. So I went back and I ordered the first box set off of eBay from someone who was selling it at a very reasonable price. And so I ordered the second volume during the sale. So here we have Homegrown Horrors Volume 2. And this contains Hanging Heart, Moonstalker and Dead Girls. Here's the back. And of course the other side. And of course this top comes off like so. Very cool. I love how it's like a little fire. Here we have Hanging Heart. Don't know anything about Hanging Heart. I'll be completely honest with you. Never even heard of it. Moonstalker, which I have heard of. Um, but I still don't really know too much about. And Dead Girls. Also, don't know anything about it, but it looks like a hell of a time. Looking forward to checking these out. It's always fun, you know, sometimes it's fun to just blind buy stuff. 
and, and see what you got, you know? Especially when there's a sale going on, you don't have so much buyer's remorse. And so, like I mentioned, my last one is Homegrown Horrors Volume 3. We have, of course, Haunted Ween, Deadly Love, and Revenge. Comes off like so. Revenge. Which I have heard of, but I have never seen. Deadly Love. And of course we have Haunted Ween. Crazy, awesome, fun movie. So there you guys, my sale for Vinegar Syndrome's 2024 subscriber week sale. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I went a little overboard, but I had a feeling that was gonna happen anyway. All said and done, I think I did pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. What did you pick up? What should I have picked up? What should I have not have picked up? Leave a comment below. All my links are in the description for where you can find me on Instagram, on Letterboxd, on Patreon, everything like that. Please give me a like and a subscribe. I'd be so grateful. And um, I'll see you very soon. And I hope that you enjoyed and take care until next time. Bye, guys.